Buying an add-on and getting free updates forever feels like a gift that keeps on giving. If you're looking for some add-ons, don't buy anything until you watch this video. I'm going to list the most consistently updated Blender add-ons available. And, of course, we're starting with Botanic. What began with just a few trees, plants, and other assets has grown into an invaluable collection of nature assets. Now at version 7, each update has followed a theme, introducing new categories and plant species. There was a flower update in version 6.5, the high and dry update, the introduction of wind and plant animations in version 6, and many more. This is a collection that continues to meet artists' demands, and I would recommend it 110% over and over again. The next obvious one is Trafic, from the same creators behind Botanique. This is a car collection currently at version 2.3. Their latest update introduced interior details, not just a few small elements to make the car look less hollow, but fully detailed digital replicas of car interiors, including dashboards, seats, radios, knobs, and even opening doors, all fully rigged. Every update adds new assets and functionality, so the value you get keeps increasing over time. At number three, we have Bagapai. If you've ever wondered how powerful and useful geometry nodes can be, you need to take a look at Bagapai. Now on its 11th update, Bagapai is a collection of geometry nodes tools and over 750 assets. This collection was created during the very first month geometry nodes was introduced to Blender and has grown alongside it, constantly improving and adding new tools. It includes scattering features for realistic geometry instancing, hundreds of plant assets, and excellent architectural tools for generating parametric stairs, spirals, pipes, floors, and more. It also comes with a ton of random project-saving tools you might not think you need until you can't live without them. By the way, if you want the project file I'm using for the transitions, you can find it in the description for free. Next up is the City Generator. It's relatively new compared to other add-ons, just 11 months since its initial release, and it's already on its second update. If future updates continue at the same pace and quality as this latest one, you'll have the best city generator for Blender at your fingertips. The new update introduced new street types, optimizations that allow your cities to spread out more, the ability to export to other engines like Unreal Engine, and material and texture improvements for both Cycles and Eevee, and the list goes on. Another new but regularly updated add-on is Fluid Lab. This is a fluid simulation add-on that works without a domain. Now at version 1.2, it has introduced foam, bubbles, and spray for added realism in your scenes. Fluid Lab takes a different approach to fluid simulation, giving you fast and efficient results for simulating highly viscous fluids, grains, and more. If you love adding production value with effects like this, you'll also love its sister add-on by the same creator, RBD Lab, which is yet another constantly updated add-on. RBD Lab has gone through major updates, including the Metal Soft update, cloth simulation improvements, and more. Now, at version 1.5, it's a significant step up from Blender's built-in RBD tools, especially because of its constraint system, which is much easier to use and far more flexible. This makes simulating soft bodies and metallic deformations not only easier, but also more controllable and art-directable. This wouldn't be a great list without including the 50-plus Ultimate Blender add-ons bundle, it's a collection of over 50 unique add-ons, each still actively updated. When any of the included add-ons get an update, your bundle gets updated too. What I love most is the variety and uniqueness of each add-on, ranging from AI model generators and AI texturing tools to texture blending, particle add-ons, physics placers, Aqua Pro, Auto Depth, Builder Pro, just to name a few. Check out the full list for yourself. Next up is the Lighting Assistant add-on, now on its third version. It started as a way to make lighting easier by simply letting you click where you want the light to be, and the add-on would place it for you. Over time, updates have added features like studio light textures, which provide clean reflections and soft lighting. They also introduced a collection of light gobos and other features specifically designed for product lighting. Another old but gold add-on is Simply Cloth. Five years in the making, this add-on has received numerous updates to improve cloth simulation, while Blender's own cloth system hasn't seen much change in that time. Simply Cloth introduced sewing patterns, ready to simulate cloth presets, a library of clothing assets, and an improved UI. So if you're interested in 3D fashion design or just want to dress up your characters, this is an add-on you definitely need to check out. If we're talking about the most frequently updated add-ons, there's no way I'm skipping Sanctus Library. 
Every time I visit the page, there's something new. Hair simulation, welds, colored glass, every procedural material you can think of, you'll find it here. The creator took it as a challenge to make every known material, and it's not just materials either. Sometimes it includes generators like billboards, water, tiles, and more. And the demos? Just the cherry on top. Another great one is population. Version 1 gave us everything we needed for crowd simulation, but when version 2 was released, it made me realize version 1 was just the tip of the iceberg. Version 2 added paint mode, group mode, bi-directional crowds, stadium mode, the list goes on. It also introduced more 3D scan characters across different categories. It's simply remarkable. Currently on version 5, Zen UV is the go-to add-on for making UV unwrapping quick, easy, and maybe even fun. Features one of the best packing algorithms to ensure you don't waste any UV space. It also includes viewport gizmos that let you scale, rotate, and move your UVs directly in the 3D view. Perfect for using trim sheets and aligning parts of your mesh with different texture maps. Its stacking system makes it effortless to stack similar islands together, speeding up your texturing workflow and minimizing UV space waste. And that's just scratching the surface. And lastly, when it comes to the most updated Blender add-ons, I can't forget to mention Flip Fluids. Making add-ons is hard. Making a fluid simulation add-on is even harder. Don't believe me? When was the last time Blender's built-in fluid system, MantaFlow, got a major update? I can't remember either. Meanwhile, Flip Fluids has had several updates since then, adding new guide forces, surface tension, sheeting, white water effects, high viscosity simulations, and more. I honestly don't know where Blender would be without this add-on and its consistent updates. Of course, we also can't overlook the fact that without Blender, add-ons like this wouldn't exist either. Stepping away from add-ons, let's talk about the Master Geometry Nodes course, which has also received constant updates and is now nearing 12 hours of content. If you want to learn as the software evolves, my colleague Top Channel One on One's courses are a fantastic resource. He also released a new course on advanced effects in Blender, which is actively being updated as well. So be sure to check that out too. And that's it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.